Good. Are you listening? Pay attention! Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But... how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Actually,
This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right. Well... Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year long supply of them too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? <laughs> right, right. That's what they all say. Then, the ulterior motives come out. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? You want that one? Thanks. That should work. Here you go. You want that one? Thanks. That should work. Here you go. You want that one? Thanks. work. Here you go. You want that one? Thanks. Take care.
Yes. Okay. be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. Okay. Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. Shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> you looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. Freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Uh, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? Oh, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways. You should have said before, you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here.
that right? Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight, I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. one. Hmm, that one, do I get? That's what you're choosing? You better not use it to pull a prank. Hmm, that one, don't break it, okay? Chooser, you better not use it to pull a prank. Okay, sounds good. Mm, that one, don't break it, okay? Alright, which one? That's what you does that. Mm, that one, you better not use it to pull a prank. That's what you're choosing. Don't break it, okay? All right. Sounds good. Hmm, that one. Do I get? That's what you're. How's that? That one, do I get? That's what you're choosing. You better not use it to pull a prank. Okay. All right, which one? All right. Come again. Later. Hmm? Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. But 
doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. Just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. That desk! Hurry now and clean- Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh! The delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but 
Just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Uh, I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you, too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so. What do you think? Wait! 
what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool. D huh? Why? Because it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. All right. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Looks pretty tough. You okay with this? Not terrible but not impressive. 
I see. A strong pers- I see. A strong persona indeed. Looks pretty tough. I see. A strong person. Excessive power only leads to destruction. Looks pretty tough. You okay with this? Select the skill. Its power will be nothing unusual. You okay with it? Master's not... Looks pretty tough. I see. Select the skills you'd like to... Will it gain new power? I wonder. Will it gain new power? I wonder. Then let us begin. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. All right. That is a thief's skill allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. You have business with Justine, you handle this. Read here. Is this what you want? This persona? Is this what you want? This persona? This persona? This persona? This 
This persona? This persona? Is this what you want? This persona? Is this what you want? Is this what you want? This persona? Is this what you want? You'll withdraw this persona? Then accept this persona. This persona? Is this what you want? Is this what you want? This persona? Is this what you want? Is this what you will withdraw this persona? Then accept this persona. This persona? This persona? Is this what you want? Is this what you want? is required. This is your power. This persona? You can hold no more personas. You want to register it? You'd like to register this? Are you finished? What? Finished. What? It is time, inmate. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out.
me your true form. Reveal your true form. All right, time. The first move is ours. Thanatos. Doors of Hades. All enemies defeated. Just what I'd expect from you, Joker. Three. Okay. What are your thoughts?
something.